Good evening. My name is Detective Inspector Maltese, although some of you night birds may know me as Loretta, the snake dancer. But tonight I'll speak to you in my professional capacity, appealing to your sense of community. A few weeks ago, there was a very serious robbery at a small cement-based charity shop. We are about to show you a reconstruction of those events, and if you know these men, or anybody like them, or anybody at all, please call this number, 826 34 596 7256 56 7 8 3. Thank you. I want you to listen. I want you to listen good. Pardon? I said, I want you to listen. And I want you to listen good. Okay, I will. What do you want today, Barry? I have the book on introductory economics, the teddy bear, and the bag of this year's profits on the shelf there. Do you want a bag for it? Nah. It looks more dramatic without. See you at the club today. Don't forget, Larry, it's 7.30 this week. Thanks, mate. Hello, police. Do you know when they'll be back? Can I leave a message? with the brown. What? Yeah, brown for robbery. Everybody knows it's black for robbery. Come on, brown is the new black, isn't it? Anyway, you did it, Gary. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I opt as well. No, you didn't. What? Yeah, I did all the running around. What running around? This running around! Oh, I've had enough of this. After all I've done for you, Barry. You can have that back, Barry.
Okay, lady, give me all the money to pass, or I'll make you wish you were born. You give me that loan again, Buster, and I'll give you six weeks' holiday in hospital. Sorry, lads. I had a funny turn then. Larry, relax. What's upset you so much? It's the job in the shop. On the Saturday job? No, the robbery earlier. What's up with the job in the shop? What, the Saturday job? No, the robbery earlier. No, the Saturday job. Oh, it just didn't work out. The hours were weird. And the customers didn't like me. Why didn't they like you? I kept hitting them. Well, you know what they say. Never hit a customer when he's down. And were they? What? Down. Pardon? Down! <laughs> All clear. So come on, tell us, Larry. Why are you so upset about the old man at the shop? Well, since we've got the trophy and the prize money for the relay, we've got enough for Uncle Jimmy's operation. And if we've got enough for the operation, we can give the money back to the shopkeeper. Are you getting soft in your old age? Hold on, Barry. He may have a point. Have a point? What is this? Mutiny? Hey, why don't we give the money to charity? Then, when they trace it back, they can't bring us down. Down where? Down there. I'll tell you what. Right. Good afternoon. My name is Inspector Montese, and this is Officer Foster. Now, I've been hearing rumours, whispers, old wives' tales, murmurs. Libelous claims, Gov. And libelous claims? The you three tow rags have been up to something shady, something dodgy, something suspect. Possibly... Criminal. Criminal. I don't know who you've been talking to, but my hands are clean. Oh, come on. I can see Donkey written all over them. That doesn't prove anything. No, it doesn't, does it? Well, on the evidence that we'll be uncovering over the next few weeks, I'd like to ask you a few questions. What sort of questions? Just questions, my friend. And your questions start now. What bat is commonly found in Central and South America and lives on blood from the skin of other animals? The horseshoe bat. Wrong answer. The correct answer is vampire bat. What was the name of the night you found the Holy Grail? I know this one. I'm afraid you'd have to be more specific. Sir Bandavin? No, I'm afraid the correct answer is Sir Callahan. Who wrote the novel The Hobbit? Was it... was it Thomas Paine? The answer is J.R.R. Tolkien. Correct. Who famously said, I'd like to ask you a few questions? That was me, early on in the scene. Correct. Now, last question, no conferring, no right turn. OK, I'm ready. Although, didn't you just give me the last question? Pass. Thank you, Barry. You passed on one and answered one question correctly. Contestant number two. Name? Claire. Occupation? Professional skateboard curler. Okay, you know the rules? The questions start now. What colour is behind red but below black in a North Korean game of Hunt the Chicken? Sorry, could you repeat the question? I certainly can. What was the nickname given to Mozart's 21st piano concerto after a film with the same name? Alvaro Madigan. Correct. What did I have for supper last Thursday? Slugs? No, I'm afraid it was snails. Who was famously quoted as saying that's outrageous! Was it Barry, later on in the film? Correct. Well done, Claire. You have clearly come fully prepared. You have no passes and answered four questions correctly. So I'm afraid you have failed in your general knowledge <laughs> and will have to accompany me to the station. <laughs> That's outrageous! Tell that to the judge. Tell this to your boss. Oh. Foster! Get him! Oh, get, get him now! Play for you win, where you begin. Roll along until the bell just stops. Don't tie around, don't ever doubt. You might forgive a warning, but you can't let that move. Just carry on, swear you belong in 
Tesco's. Yeah, branches of Tesco's. Absolutely. 